click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi guys, now this is the time to learn the numerical number 1 of DC analysis of FAT. So in these numerical sessions, we will solve various numericals, simple towards complex side and we will analyze how to solve and how to get the particular required parameter. Here, this is the first numerical and that is why we have simple numerical. 10 mega ohm is your gate resistance, 1.1 kilo ohm is your source resistance and 3.3 kilo ohm is your drain resistance plus 12 volt battery is externally connected to attach 3.3 kilo ohm towards the drain side of FET. Capacitor is placed to isolate the value of output load and IDSS which is given as 6 milliampere drain to source saturation current. VP pinch off voltage is given minus 4 volts and they ask us to find out the Q parameters that is VDSQ, VGSQ and IDQ. Let's see how it works to find out the values of required parameter. First of all, we will follow first step that is keep open all the capacitors. As in this numerical at the input side input voltage is given as zero. So I don't need any capacitor over there. I haven't applied input yet. I can apply after particular interval of time later on after analysis of DC. So for your information, I'm writing this for all capacitors should be open all external capacitors mind well. Now we will start the analysis with the input KVL apply KVL to input. Right. We will redraw this circuit here. This is the 10 mega ohm. Right. This is the FET and here we will be getting source that is 1.1 kilo. Current which is flowing is in the form of ID. Tick. And here I will be getting input loop. Right. So in this loop we have to apply KVL. Unlike BJT, we don't have the value of VGS. In BJT, we have the value of VBE as constant value 0.7. And here, we have to find out this value for my operation of particular circuit. VGSQ. So, I will just apply that IG, that is gate current multiplied by this 10 mega ohm minus VGSQ minus this ID multiplied by 1.1K. Is equal to zero, right? As I mentioned that IG is equal to zero. So I can say that this will become zero, complete thing. So no matter how much resistance at the gate side I have applied whether it is of 1 mega, 2 mega, 2.2 mega IG is equal to 0. So voltage across that particular resistance will be 0. I will be getting VGSQ is equal to minus of ID into 1.1 K and that is nothing but the function of ID. So we will write here VGSQ is equal to minus of ID into 1.1 K or else otherwise 1100 multiplied by ID. We will write this as equation number 1. From equation of current ID, we can write this as ID is equal to IDSS 1 minus VGS divided by VP the whole square. If you put this value 
let's see this is equation number two right put one in two we will be getting the value if this has vgs only right so this vgs is nothing but minus of id into 1.1k vp is negative that is minus 4 which is given idss is given 6 milliampere and this is how we will be getting whole quadratic equation so just try to convert this complete equation by putting this value vgs is equal to minus id into 1.1k we will get the quadratic equation reach towards the quadratic equation and then we will find the roots of the quadratic equation just pause the screen and do that So we have got this quadratic equation. Check your and mine answer. Hope so your answer is also correct. So start finding roots of this quadratic equation from the calci. Check your calci is working or not. We have got two values, one is 7.86 milliampere and another is 1.696 milliampere. Now I know that IDSS value is 6 milliampere and as I said that ID should be less than IDSS, right? And that is why ID2, hence ID2 is equal to ID, we'll select the second ID as Q parameter. So we have got the ID Q is equal to 1.696 milliampere. That is the first finding from this numerical. I know that from equation number 1, Vgs is equal to minus id multiplied by 1.1k. We know that from equation number 1, that Vgs is function of id in the form of factor 1.1k. So, Vgs q is equal to 1.1k. Obviously, it should be with minus sign multiplied by 1.696 milli your answer will be 1.696 this is your second finding now what we'll have to find third finding is vdsq right so we'll apply kvl to output loop We'll again redraw this circuit over here. We have nothing to do with the input circuit. We just 
relate this 3.3k 1.1k this is ground and this is plus 12 volts okay so we will apply here output kvl we will start from 12 we will reach to ground plus 12 volts minus id multiplied by 3.3k minus vds minus id multiplied by 1.1k is equal to 0 mind well as ig is equal to 0 your drain current and source current is exactly equal exactly equal unlike bjt right we will be getting the value of vdsq is equal to 12 minus id q multiplied by 3.3k plus 1.1k Calculate immediately this value VDSQ. Let's check your and my answer. Miline K Komar dia. So the answer is 4.54 volts. We have got the third parameter that is VDSQ. So it's a very simple numerical where we have got idq vgsq and vdsq by just following all the steps that i have given you in the previous video lecture thank you so much for watching this particular video learn more and more edc along with me along with ikida videos thank you so much